guys, Danny here. Welcome back to Foxtel Brush. Today, I am on a mission. Jamin and I were doing this really humongous Star Wars puzzle, and normally I'm the kind of person that when I finish a puzzle, I let it sit out so we can admire it for a few days, and then take it apart and put it away for another day. Well, this Star Wars puzzle, <sighs> I will show it here, is... It was very challenging, it was very frustrating, and I don't think we ever want to try to build this again. So, I am at Michael's to get some puzzle glue. And I'm wondering if it's different than just normal glue, but we're gonna go look for it, and hopefully they have it at this Michael's, and seal this puzzle so we never have to make it again. So, let's go guys. Okay, we made it inside, and of course, you guys didn't think I was just gonna walk around the store for one thing. No. Oh, I have to like, look at everything. That's, that's what you do when you come to Michael's. <laughs> this is very pretty. Ooh. Mm. Plus there is a 40% off coupon. There is usually a 40% off coupon at Michael's. But sometimes they're 50% off. And sometimes they're only 30% off, so. Ooh, these are fancy letters. But I don't like putting letters up. I don't know, I really like fun, pretty things. Like, to hang up. That was a person. Um. I like fun, pretty things that you can hang up on your walls and decorate with, but I don't actually like putting them up because, I don't know, I feel like when there's a lot of stuff up on the walls, like I get really like, not distracted? I don't know, like it, I, I don't know, maybe it's my creative brain, like everything has to be clean so I can get inspiration. If there's too much going on, then I'm just like, ah! So yeah, I like to have my house mostly bare walls. Except for my office, I'm slowly starting to put stuff up there, but I'm like, you know what? I gotta make it look fun in there. But I guess it doesn't make sense, because it's like where I'm in there to create, so I probably should put less stuff in there, so it doesn't like, distract. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> and of course, I couldn't go by without looking at my favorite section! Clearance! <laughs> More clearance, of course. And look! Another Star Wars puzzle! But I don't... I don't think it's on sale. Just somebody put it in the sale section. Darn it! I still would've gotten it if it was on sale. What's this? Volcano. Ugh, I kinda wanna get this. Like, I want a cutting machine because there's a lot of projects I wanna do that they're like, It involves a cutting machine! Or these. You pop the bunny's head off! <laughs> oh, here's another one. So maybe it is on clearance. But I don't see a clearance price. Oh well. So, funny enough, I know I was talking about these last time, but I actually think I'm gonna get one because. I don't know. I'm doing stuff now outside so yeah and it's only 250 so why not right okay I found the puzzle section and here is puzzle glue dying so let's see. Puzzle glue. Mm, Coat both sides. Hmm. Comes in the applicator. Doesn't have ingredients, does it? Like, what is the difference between this and regular glue? Hmm. Oh, we'll see. I have a coupon anyways. <laughs> and this 
puzzle roll and sew. Um, we have this and this is what we used to build our puzzles on and I'm gonna be honest it's kind of annoying because this is it's it's just felt and when you put your puzzle pieces on you know you want to slide your pieces sometimes around and because it's felt they get like snagged and stuff so it's kind of annoying trying to move pieces around you have to like pick them up and then put them down so yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's the same one. And to be honest, I haven't actually rolled any of the puzzles up and put them away. I'm usually the kind of person that, if I start a puzzle, I want to try to finish it ASAP. I don't want to leave it there for weeks and forget about it. And pieces get lost, and yeah. So, just, that's just my opinion. If you want a, like a, a mat to make your puzzles, probably felt is not the best. That's my opinion. Do what you will with it. All right, so I'm gonna start gluing this and I'm actually using the selfie stick I just bought in the store and surprisingly, it, it's pretty cool. You can like angle, let me show you. You can angle up and down. It extends pretty far. Bye guys. <laughs> and there's a little um, plug. You just plug it in and there's a button on the handle where you literally just push the button and it'll take the picture. Sorry, wow, that was really, really shaky. I'm sorry. Okay, earthquake. But yeah, and it's actually kind of hard holding this thing. Um, I didn't realize how weak my forearms were. <laughs> it's like keeps wiggling. But okay, you're going to the gym. Yeah, I'm going to the gym. We're gonna put a layer of glue and then go to the gym. It says on the box to wait an hour of drying time. And I was reading reviews online, and people were saying put a really thin coat. You don't need a lot and the scraper really comes in handy and a lot of people are saying do the front and the back. Some people are saying do the back first, but I don't know how I'm gonna flip this thing over. The pieces are really, really loose on this puzzle, so I don't wanna even try to attempt to flip this thing over. So, maybe put parchment. I think I'll put parchment underneath the puzzle so it doesn't actually glue to our mat. This is the felt mat I was telling you about, which is like, meh, but whatever. All right, let's get the gluing. Okay guys, so Jamin and I just got back from the gym, so if I look red and I'm out of breath, that's why. But, that means it has been an hour, and it looks the same. It's got like a nice glossy, glossy shine, glossy shine. And when I was, when we were putting it on and spreading it, I at first saw kind of like streaks, like, okay, girls understand, sometimes you put clear coat on, and then it'll like dry a little bit and you like brush it again and it starts to smooch. So that's kind of what it looked like, so I was getting worried. But it looks like it kind of pretty much evened out. And it feels dry. And hopefully it's not all stuck. A little bit stuck. <laughs> it's okay. No harm done. The belt was poop. No! A piece came out! Alright, we'll put more glue there. But let's see so far. How everything else is looking. Yeah, there's like some pieces there I must have missed. Get it, get it that way. Show everybody your red face. Oh, no. those pieces need it too. Okay, so for the most part, woo! Look at that, that's cool. I'm like scared it's just gonna boom. Explode. So for the most part, it just it held together really, really well. Um, I don't think we need to put in a picture frame. I think we can probably just mount it like this. So... Probably need more glue. Yeah, so there, yeah, there's a few spots that I miss. I will put glue. A lot of people online recommended that you do one coat on the front and one coat on the back. So maybe that's what we'll do. But yeah, it, it looks really, really good. And I'm really happy with the outcome. So puzzle glue, really actually surprised. I thought it was just gonna be regular glue, but it was nice, clear, and it leaves a really nice, pretty shine. So, need water. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I'm just a shirt. You're just a shirt. Show them your beautiful face. Ding! Oh, <laughs> oh the parchment didn't work. I'm off now, Roy. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.